Hello, welcome all. Today we will discuss answers to graded assignment one questions. Let's get started. The first question is more obstruction to the exhaling flow of air leads to the production of vowel sounds. Well, the answer is false because the obstruction to the exhaling flow of air leads to the production of consonant sounds and not vowel sounds. Vowel sounds are also produced with obstruction but with a minimal obstruction to the exhaling air when compared to consonant sounds. The second question is, there are 24 consonant sounds in English. Well, the answer is true. There are 24 consonant sounds in English. The third question is, there are a total of 48 sounds in English. Well, the right answer is false because there are a total of 44 sounds in English. We have 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds. So that makes it a total of 44 sounds in English language. The fourth question is, the sound ma is a nasal bilabial sound. True, because your lips are involved in the production of this sound. Therefore, it's a bilabial sound. And why is it a nasal sound? When you pronounce a sound ma, airstream passes through the nose as a result of the lowering of the soft palate or the velum, which is situated at the back of the mouth. So, sounds in which the airstream is expelled partly through the nose and partly through the mouth are called uh, nasalized sounds. The fifth question is, total closure of mouth or airflow leads to the production of stop sounds. True, total closure of mouth or airflow leads to the production of stop sounds. The sixth question is, the sound P is a bilabial stop sound. Yes, lips are involved in the production of the sound P. It is a stop sound because in the consonant sound, this consonant sound P is produced by completely stopping the airflow. Therefore, the statement is true. The next question is, an expert user of language Sorry, the next question is, comprehension begins with first understanding the sounds. Yes, the sounds are base, sounds are the basic units of any language and sounds combine together to form words and then sentences. Therefore, we may say that comprehension begins with understanding the sounds. The eighth question is, an expert user of language uses the top-down approach to listening. Yes, what is top-down and bottom approach to listening? So when we start listening to a language for the first time, we use or we tend to use the bottom up approach to listening. So we are looking for familiar words and phrases to get some meaning and you want to latch on to those words, sounds and immediately try and create the meaning in your head. So that is bottom up approach. Whereas an expert user of language uses top down approach to listening. So we all have to reach the top-down approach to listening and only then we become an expert user of language. So just as a speaker utters a word, one can connect and bring his or her background information, can listen for more details and filling the blank, all the questions that come to his or her mind as he or she is listening to the speaker in the top-down approach. Therefore, we say that an expert user of language uses top-down approach to listening. The ninth question is, I like to watching movies is an appropriate response to the question, what do you do in your free time? Well, the answer is false. I like to watching movies is a grammatically wrong sentence. You may either say I like watching movies or I like to watch, watch movies. When we use to, then we don't add ing to the verb. The final question, Lisa meets Fahima in New York. While getting introduced to each other, what do you think is the appropriate question with politeness to know the place they come from? Option A, which city are you from? Option B, which country are you from? Option C, which state are you from? Option D, are you from New York? Well, the right answer is option D, are you from New York? Not that the other options are wrong, but option D is the polite way of asking someone where they are from. So with that, we come to the end of the session. I will meet you with a different module on a different date. Until then, stay safe. If you have any doubts, 
please put up your queries in the discussion forum and we will be more than happy to help you out. Bye.